Hey guys, so wanted to share this AliExpress dye that I picked up. Um, it has the Koontz dog. I love that dog. So I've already done, I've already cut out some, I've already cut him out three times. So what I did was just remove him. Now he is, this is the dog, and then these are like other pieces to make him, you know, 3D. So here he is, just him. Just him. Now this um, glitter paper is a paper pad card stock from Die Cuts with a View. Now here he is, and that gold uh, card stock is just a separate sheet that I picked up from Joann's. Okay, however, I'm not really sure I like either one of those. So, I have this small metallic also from Die Cuts with a View. I picked that up, I'm sure at Hobby Lobby. I'm using the black, I already cut him out. And here is my pieces. Now I did go through, I ran him through twice on my die cutting machine. And you do need a die cutting machine for any of these dies. Now, I like the three dimensional, I think. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I do this because I didn't cut out these extra, which is like a rainbow and then a bone and I love you. And I'll just keep a, I'll just put a link in below. Um, so there are extras, but I did not cut any, I didn't cut any of those out. I probably will, let me know if you want me to, and I will, and I'll let you know how that works. But these dies never come with directions, so it's sometimes difficult for us to, you know, figure out how they go together. This one is just too darn cute. I hope he will be cute this way. And I just have my metal tip that I'm putting the glue down, my art glitter glue. Now, he fell out, the die is, I ran through twice, he fell out of this, which is my paper pad from Die Cuts with a View, the glitter one, and then he did the same with my metallic sheet. But this is an individual sheet that I had left over from um, cutting something else out. I ran it through twice. They pop out very easily, but they didn't fall out like the other ones did. So I just wanted to throw that out there. So here's our three dimensional pieces. And I just want to see if I like it. So basically you're doing the front paw that's forward in the back or leg, in the back leg, the one that is forward. Then you have its little nose, the little nose here. and his little tail. Mm, that's not too bad. I think I'll probably like it without any of this, this stuff. Way too much glue. Way too much glue. It does dry clear, clear though, so put that there. I'm gonna do so much glue with this one. Might even use a little bit of tape if you wanted, or um, some other kind of glue, maybe even hot glue. It doesn't really like to stick to either the glitter paper, like stick on the surface of the glitter paper, or on the surface of this metallic paper. There we have him. There he is. He's kind of cute. And then we'll see. Um, We'll use the pieces left over from the black metallic and put them on this pink orange color. And I always end up with glue on my hands, so definitely if you had a pair of tweezers, 
that would work for you. Probably a little better. Perfect. I don't know that I like that at all, but that's just kind of showing you. I don't know, I guess he's a Halloween dog. But that just shows you different ways. So this is both, and this is the glitter paper and the metallic black leftover. This is gold glitter paper, and then the, the same orangey pink color that I used. And then here he is as a metallic dog with the gold. So very cute, very, very cute. I am happy with him. I like him a lot. All right, so if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and let me know uh, if you'd like to see some more. I do have a lot of the, um, the dies that I got for these little tiny dolls. They look like the Julie Nutting Dogs dolls, die cuts. Let me know if you'd like to see more of those. I'll be more than happy to do those for you. Great, thank you. Have a great day.